Hello everybody and welcome. A few years ago I had the pleasure of uh, owning a new in the box Intel Station Power 285. That's actually the last power workstation IBM ever made. Unfortunately I went through some psychological meltdown so to say and I had to sell it. But now I show you a new in the box HP C8000 PA Risk workstation, the last and most powerful PA Risk workstation before HP tried to switch to Itanium and failed miserably. It's huge, it was it is heavy, and the delivery lady, very small and skinny, was cursing me all the way upstairs while we carry it up but it's much lighter than the 285 and it doesn't come on a pallet so well advantages everywhere i'm gonna be very careful here with this lovely paper knife and let's get to it we start in a bureaucratic spirit so first thing here is the workstation license to use and I can use the technical computing operating environment on this workstation which is what I'm looking for because that gives me well the graphical user interface should be CDE and I can write OpenGL code on it. Let's take this out of the way and so here you can use your hands like this uh, or not Aha, uh -huh. all right, so what do we have? Cords, so we have standard European power cable. We have a DVI to VJ adapter for test purposes it says. Molex, good brand. Another European power cable. Does it have the redundant power supplies? I know that the 285 has it as an option, but mine didn't come with it. Next one here is another DVI to VJ adapter. So I'm ready to rock two monitors. Here we have HP workstation mouse. So this is a Unix mouse, so it has three buttons and USB port and it is optical. Finally, documentation and CDs and so on and here. think this is where you can put the workstation upright so you can rack it or have it on your desk and I think this helps you have it on the desk let's check bubble wrap everywhere let's just unroll this it's like a bubble wrap envelope and what do we get We have a documentation library CD, May 2004. We get a European regulation for waste disposal in private households. I am probably the first crazy person to buy this for private use. We have on offline diagnostics from 2007 at least the copyright, some, this should be Japanese, then we have handling for perchlorate material, mm -hmm. Japanese material declaration, global limited warranty for workstations, one year, printed in Singapore, it's probably just then some German 
manual. My German is non-existent, so let's well, have a look on how it looks like. So we have here. I will try to find this in English. Uh, I found a technical manual, but this probably is the quick start guide. Yes, yeah, so you have to slide the the foot in, and you connect the cables as required. Uh, description of the components for the rack version is there as well. Then you turn it on, and you are happy. Declaration of conformity for uh, regulations, yes, so you have here the European one, American, Russian, Chinese, Australian, New Zealand, etc. Slash ergo, so that's probably ergonomic information. Well, nobody cares. And, well, no HPUX, maybe it's pre-installed, maybe somewhere else, but I have a license, I can get the CD from the internet, and that will be legal. Next we have the foot, also bubble wrapped, get it out here, and it looks far more fragile than I expected, but it's really like the Intel Station 285 has a metal foot and it's built like a tank and this is just some plastic and there's some, some air intakes here on the side it doesn't look all that great I hope the rest of the workstation is better built next we have here, this looks like the keyboard yes, it is a keyboard Probably modern mushy garbage. Let's give it a shot. Yep. German layout, mushy garbage, and it has the Windows layout, so they probably just pick it up from you know just your usual HP computer crap. And if you look back here, it's designed for Windows 2000 NT4 and 98. And I wonder how it's designed for Windows NT because Windows NT doesn't support USB, as far as I know anyway. Um, so, a lie. Yep. Ah, I'm sticking to my model M, thank you very much. Inside you can see the, well, the base for the optical drives, the two CPUs, each one with its own fan, power supply there, the air intake, so we're actually blowing hot air from the CPU in the power supply, not great. The battery that's probably dead and you have one fan controller per CPU. It's much more messy, it's much messier than the 285. Uh, on the 285 you don't see cables anywhere and this just looks like your classic cheap PC. At least they bother to tie the cables together there. 
you have your two SCSI hard drives pre-installed and there is this like reflector for air so you know you keep things cool and underneath there you have two RAM slots one is populated the rest should be installed in pairs so the other behind the cover then you have uh, the fire gl i think with 256 megs of memory it's the first gpu i've ever seen with powered by a molex cable it's held in place by a retainer it's a quite small card two SCSI buses and then a connection there to the ide bus and from now on i'm gonna leave you with the classic workstation porn enjoy